Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Noon with Natalie. I am excited to be welcoming brand new guests, not even here in Montreal, but she's all the way from Ontario. Um, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Natalie Mayot. I'm a public speaking and presentation skills coach, and I own and operate Master Your Authentic Voice. And I'm also the creator of Teen Talk. So I do public speaking for professionals and teens. But today I have a special guest. Her name is Claudia Aranowitz, and I want to tell you all about her. Uh, she did earn a bachelor's in nutrition and a master's in public health, and she worked for 20 years as a senior director for um, within the health sector. She built national partnerships, worked programs in service of a variety of communities. But after uh, being diagnosed and treated for breast cancer at the age of 41, a lot of things changed, and she reevaluated her professional path and was inspired to shift her focus from serving communities to serving individuals. I love that. She became a certified coach with the, the ICF and went on to train as a mediator. So she continues to sharpen her skills as, as that coach and mediator. And it goes without saying that communicating directly and compassionately supporting her clients through change and transformation. And she says, whether you're facing the challenge of change or the discomfort of a situation that you know isn't right, you feel confused and you're stuck or struggling to define and take the next step forward, please contact her because the change of a lifetime awaits you. Claudia, welcome. Hi, it's so nice to be here. Yes, so you have so many hats that you wear. What is personal or developmental coaching? What is it that you do with your clients? I help them befriend change. Like okay. When a, a situation happens and you're stuck and you don't know what to do with that change, or I help you create the change that you want. You know, sometimes change comes to us or sometimes we want to create the change. And I do that by helping you find opportunities in that change, by helping sure. you see different perspectives. And it really starts from within. We first have to go in and decide, you know, what is it that you want? How can you wear those different lenses? And we Absolutely. work on that. And then I go further, and I, I, I really love working on relationships, and from there we start creating the change. And it's and, really, yeah. Yeah, no, go ahead. <laughs> it's really about, about creating the change and not asking you the same questions and going around in, in your head. Yeah. It's so important to have somebody from the outside who really wants to support you, to ask you the tough questions, and to push you to take those yes. first steps um, yes. to be there. Yeah, the tough questions are, so I'm assuming that, the clients get tough questions from you. So what are the benefits of them working with you? What are they, when they start digging deep? When they really um, start digging deep is that you start accepting who you are, the good and the bad and everything that you have. Yeah. And I also help them really understand their strengths. You know, instead of fighting on what you're not good at is what are you good at? What is the strengths? Where are you? And from that place where we can accept where we are in our reality, you can start seeing things in a different perspective. And I'm, I think I really help them to clarify what they want and to clarify the steps that they need to take and just keep on pushing them to move forward and to adapt to the situation that they find themselves. Absolutely. Do you have like a success story you can share with us? Just something, someone maybe that went from A to Z and, and you know, they were, this is what, where they were, they were stuck and they got out. No names involved. We don't need names. We just need Yes. Names. I have a client that came actually for professional. She was having a lot of problems in finding okay. her voice professionally. Um, okay. She was, you know, she was, she was moved to a very senior position and she yep. wasn't so well received. And by going back to, to her strength and saying, Hey, they didn't give you that job just because. Let's understand why they were looking at me. Forget everybody else. Let's yep. find you again and give you the strength to show up again in the meetings. Oh, she nice. completely shifted her, where she is right now in this three months ago. And now we're using the same tactic in her personal relationships. Because it's, nice. again, you know, who are you? Who do you want to be in those relationships? Who do you want to show up? Why are you, you know, protecting yourself so much that nobody really is seeing your strengths and who you really are? Yeah. And it's so lovely to see how she's shifting her life just mm -hmm. by starting from herself. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. I love that they can, it can be applied to both areas of, of our lives. So in the bio, I mentioned that you're a mediator. So how do you bring the mediation and the coaching together to so make that? I, 
even from public health, I have been always fascinated by how do we change behavior and how do we communicate okay. correctly. I think that's yeah. always been my passion. Mm -hmm. And the way I find that I bring them together is I help people to have those difficult conversations. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and I can do it on your own or I can do it with two people together. Yeah. And if it's in coaching, I help you understand who you're bringing in the relationship. How are you communicating? Okay. How are you listening? Because sometimes if we change, immediately the relationship changes. If mm -hmm. we can understand, you know, the other person, how we, there's no one truth and what does that mean and what are we assuming, suddenly the, our relationships start to change. So mm -hmm. sometimes I just work with one person and yeah. sometimes I just go into the workplace or in families and work on personal communication and through the communication, I really help them find the relationship. Love it. Love it. Well, I'm a big fan of communication, as you can imagine. I'm more of the outspoken kind and getting people to really speak their truth and authentically because we often uh, I think we mask things and people whether professionally or personally so interpersonal communication is clearly a big one for you oh, how yes. how how can we change that in in society what can we do to so I, I, I'm, I'm starting to write a book and one of the main oh. things that I'm writing there is about um, accepting that conflict is part of a good relationship. You know, oh, when I see a, a, a couple that says, oh, we never fight, to me it's a red flag. Or, you know, thinking yeah. that because I'm a good manager, I'm never going to have conflict. Oh, no, conflict is, is good. It's part of it. It's how do we deal with that conflict and what do you do and how not to avoid it that I find is so important. Well, it's seen as negative, right, to have conflict? Yeah, but, but conflict is going to happen because we're two totally different individuals and we process the information totally different and we come from different perspectives and we hear it differently. So I may say something and you understand it completely different. Yes. So there's very simple things that you can learn um, yeah. that can really change the way you deal with that misunderstanding and the way you communicate to create a better relationship or deal when things don't go the way you want. Is there one tip that you can give us? Yes. One, what one uh, thing? Like just one. Are we I, I like to write a six and a nine on a piece of paper and tell my client, is it a nine or a six? Because okay. for you, it's a nine. But for me, it's a six. And in your reality, it looks like a nine. It feels like a nine. And you're absolutely and 100% certain it's a nine. But from my side, it looks like a six. It feels like a six. And I'm 100% certain that it's a six. Okay. So how are we communicating? And the whole idea is, well... Let me see your side. Oh, you can also look like a six. Oh, let me see your point of view. Okay, so what are we talking about? And then you can really have the conversation. Oh, nice. I like that. That's cool. I might use that today. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I have many like those. I love giving those tips so, and really working with my clients. Yeah, so you have a book coming out. That's very exciting. I'm a big fan of, of, uh, of writing as well. Uh, so do we know what the book's about? Like, it's about interpersonal communication. Okay. Um, and I'm in the process of writing it. And I believe in the journey and in the learning process. Yeah. And I will let you know when I'm ready to, Ooh, to bring I it into the it. world. Listen, if Nunes Natalie is still running, we'll definitely have to do a repeat of this. So now, uh, you know, the important thing is that you've shared a little bit about yourself and what you do. How do people get in touch with you? Like, what is the easiest way for them to reach out? So I have my website, which is okay. claudiaaro.com. So claudiaaro.com. Okay. And you'll find there my email. And the easiest thing is just shoot me an email. And right. I'd love to give, you know, a 20-minute sample chemistry session to whoever would like to work with me because I think we need to get to know each other and like yeah. each other before we work together. Yeah. Just a good conversation. You can decide later on what you want to do. I'm very transparent and honest. And you'll get, mm -hmm. you'll see who I am. Um, and we'll take it from there. Awesome. A chemistry session. I've never yes. heard that. I love the play on words. Fantastic. So everybody, once again, here at noon, at, uh, noon with Natalie, uh, Claudia Aranowitz. She is a fantastic coach and mediator. If you're looking for somebody to help you kind of shift through a conflict that you might be having or you're struggling with, she's the lady that you want to chat with. Once again, Thanks so much for being with us and tuning in. I look forward to seeing you next week with new guests on Noon with Natalie. Whatever you choose to do today, have a great day. And bye for now. Bye. Thank you.